I want to talk to you about a software application that might just do wonders for your business. Whether you're a university, a school, retail shop, cafeteria, cafe, anywhere where you need to convey a lot of information regularly, constantly, changing information, and yet at the same time you don't have a lot of time to prepare the graphics, the back-end data, and actually just try and get it together. Well, most people actually have two very crucial pieces of software sitting already on their computer. One's called Excel, or could be Access, or database program, but I'm going to give you an example using Excel. And the other is PowerPoint, two programs that are known the world over. Well, we've got a software application that brings those two together in a very, very powerful way. So if you've got a database that's been created automatically by another system or data that you've inputted by hand, keying it in, then our software program will take that data and automatically put it into a PowerPoint slide. Now, it might just be the one page on PowerPoint or it could be a number of pages that are now going to cycle through and automatically pull out all that data that's sitting in the database and display it. So that could be a restaurant menu, it could be a timetable for a university or a school, it could be a retail promotion pulling out the graphics and the pricing and the saved pricing, it could be a scoreboard, it could be a flight towing table used in a transit centre like a ferry building, an airport, train station, it doesn't really matter and it can all be displayed on a standard LCD plasma projection or a projection screen. So I want to show that program to you now and I want to show you how I can update an Excel spreadsheet and it will automatically be updated in PowerPoint without me touching anything in the PowerPoint program. We say set it up once, set it up right and then just pump the data in the back end and you will get fantastic displaying images with all the latest financials, menu details, timetable details automatically on your display. I want you to come and join me now and I'm going to show it to you. So what we have set up here is a 42 inch monitor and a 24 inch monitor and uh, connected to a computer that has a dual graphics output so we can see both uh, monitors and the desktop on, on both. Now the desktop has been set to expanded mode so um, we can actually move the mouse from one cross to the other. You can see the mouse here as I stuck it around on the, on the main desktop. The thing I want you to have a look at is on the small screen and I'll just zoom in and so you can see on this shot here we have PowerPoint, which you'll all be familiar with, and the other one is Excel. I'll just expand those so you can see. So standard Excel, we've got four tabs down the bottom here that have been named. Each of them have got content, and you'll see that changing as I click between the tabs. I'll just minimise that again. And on the other one here is our PowerPoint. You'll notice there's nothing on this slide here at the moment. We're going to open up our slide presentation uh, which has got um, a total of four pages and it's automatically going to be selecting information from a remote database from Excel. So let me just open up the uh, PowerPoint. So there you have it there and so you can see it's all been laid out now none of the text has actually been typed in by hand. However, as you can see, we've got the various fields and so forth. But that's all been generated automatically, and that's what I want to show you. So if I just go into the other slide, same situation. Another one, same situation. And again, same situation. So slightly different layout design. And so this spreadsheet is going to be the source of where PowerPoint on each of the four fields gets its content. Now this spreadsheet 
could be sitting anywhere as long as the PowerPoint file has a route back to it. So that could be sitting on another computer on a network or on a separate computer on a separate network and uh, with wired connectivity. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to show you the PowerPoint and it's automatically going to expand and will play on our main screen.